The NFL Today on CBS is powered by Ram Trucks, built to serve. And welcome back to the NFL Today. And now Amazon takes you out to the sights and sounds of the game between the Chargers and the Steelers. So let's take you out to Pittsburgh with our announcers, Jim Nance, Tony Romo, and Tracy Wolfson. Well, JP, we've got the Steel City Showdown with a pair of early season unbeatens, the Chargers and the Steelers, coming up here on CBS. Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, and Tracy Wilson. Looking forward to this game, partner. Ooh, 2-0. Oh, who'd hey, have thought a big early it. game? Just think, one of these teams, what a start it'll be, the winner of this one. Yeah. Moving on to 3-0. Chargers haven't seen that since 2002. That's right. One thing they have seen all week, all the question marks about who will be at quarterback. Well, Justin Herbert, high ankle sprain. He's up. He's active. We expect him to start. We do, and they, they played it really close to the vest this whole week, and it went back and forth. They dressed three quarterbacks today. He was ginger when he was in pregame warm-up. I felt like he's going to have a little issue pushing off that right foot. And right there, he's going to hit that back foot. And can he handle all that pressure? And can he make it through four quarters? That'll be a big question mark for me. They have all three quarterbacks active, by the way. But for more on Herbert, let's go down to the field. And here is Tracy. Well, Jim, after not practicing all week, Justin Herbert went through round-the-clock treatment to be ready for today. But speaking to a lot of Chargers down on the field, they're not surprised he's out here starting. He's as tough as could be. He overcame that torn plantar fascia to play week one. He's played through broken ribs and broken fingers, and he's played through a torn labrum. So no surprise he's out here. The question is, can he finish this game, and how effective will he be? Okay, Trace, you talk about a long list of injuries and overcoming. J.K. Dobbins, what a performance by Dobbins the first two weeks leading the league in rushing. Off to an incredible start. This system obviously wants to run the ball. Jim Harbaugh and Greg Roman, as good as there is, at figuring out the run game scheme. And I'm really impressed with the efficiency. J.K. is averaging almost 10 yards a rush. And this is the National Football League, Jim. That, that's unheard of. And if they can do that against this Pittsburgh defense, watch out. Well, that Charger defense is pretty stout also, yep. as Justin Fields is about to find out. He's led them to two road wins, but they've produced only one touchdown through the first eight quarters. Yes, but I, I'm still impressed. He's playing winning football right now. and. I think it's a marrying of a system of Arthur Smith bringing him in. That was really smart. He gets into a lot of big personnel. They're using his legs a little more, taking shots, and he created half-field reads. I'm impressed with the way he's played. And I think right now you're going to see them open this offense up because I think he's made the coaching staff trust him through the first two weeks. Anytime you get a chance to see T.J. Watt, it's oh. a treat, and he's off to another flying start to the season. He's a one-game wrecking, one-man wrecking crew, and you can put him on any defense, and that defense would be good automatically. But I think he's got more weapons around him, so you're seeing him get more of these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And he's, his ability to chase down the ball, create havoc, and finish games out is what makes him special. So we've got the two leading scoring defenses through just two weeks, but is it going to be a low-scoring game here today? It should be, right? And well, yeah, you know, the top two scoring defenses, it's always going to be It's going to be 40 to 30. <laughs> you know, this is going to be something completely different than we think. Yeah, who knows? It's going to be fun to watch. I know that. Two great coaches. Is it Harbaugh and Tomlin again? Yeah, yeah, they've got their own rivalry, John and Mike. But this is Jim and Mike coming up next on CBS.